a while back I promised somebody um, whenever I made my last memory switch that I would make a little how-to video on kinda how it's made, where the parts, how much it costs to build it, etc, etc, etc. So here's that little memory switch that I've been making for a little bit. Uh, Brian Howard and I kind of came up with the design and the idea to plug into the side of a uh, DB90 so that way it could switch the tempo with just the push of a button instead of the scroll which obviously there's not the yellow scroll there but with the uh, with the yellow scroll so button instead of the scroll to make it a lot more in tempo so here's what we got here um, first little chunk um, is a little, little I guess aluminum enclosure you can get those at like some electronic companies I got all this stuff at Allied Electronics um, I think their website is alliedelec.com anyways it's this little I guess about two inches by two inches by inch and change tall little square aluminum enclosure so I had to drill a couple holes in the side um, drill a couple holes in the top to fit the buttons and then here's what the inside looks like sorry for the shaky camera I'm doing this with one hand here Here's what the inside looks like. So we've got uh, two, I guess, quarter inch plugs, headphone plugs. This one is the main one that you want to focus on because that's your memory jack up here on the side of the metronome. That one's the memory jack. This one's your start stop. I'll get to that information in just a second. Uh, the reason I've got two jacks in here is to prevent the actual switch from sliding in the met so that way it gives a little bit more stability. So we got those two plugs in there. We've got wires soldered to each of the connections. The black wire is to the ground here in the plug. The green is just to one of the, I guess, one of the little um, endpoints, and then the red is to the other endpoint. Just kind of figured it out to which one made it go forward, which one made the memory go backwards. I honestly, can't remember which one. Just play with it, and you can figure it out from there. And then we've got these two buttons. I got the wires soldered. The black one, since that's the ground, I've just got it bridged between both of these buttons. It hasn't really given any problems at all, so nobody said anything negative about it. And then the green, this is the backward, so I made the right button the backward over here. And then the red button is the forward memory. Okay. Um, once again, this plug right here goes into the start-stop jack into your metronome. Some people have requested, and I actually was able to put them on there. I threw in a start-stop button, so what I did is I just drilled a hole smack dab in the middle, so that way whenever it sunk down, once again, sorry for the shakiness. Once, once I put the top on, it sunk down right in between those two plugs that so didn't touch anything and didn't short out or anything like that. So start-stop is definitely achievable. All it is is a connection that it makes. Same thing with the memory, forward and backward memory. All these buttons are doing are pretty much making a connection, sending that signal through the plug and into the metronome. Same thing that a, uh, I guess a boss SB05 I think is the the pedal that they use changes the memory but it only has a one big button and it only goes forward so one of the things about the little buttons and switches I guess that I wanted to talk about real quick is because there are two different kinds of switches or buttons that you can get they're called open or closed I drew a little diagram here open versus closed open what that means is the button, whenever it's sitting in its open or in its uh, resting position, as in all the way up, the connection is open. Therefore, these connecting points aren't, aren't touching at all. So that way, whenever you push down on the button, it makes the connection, sends the signal through the plug and into the metronome. Okay, This one I would prefer. And these are the buttons that are on the metronome because whenever you press the button, it instantly makes the connection. Okay, Going over to the closed type button, sorry for the kindergarten artwork here. Same type button, same setup, but on the inside, the the uh, I guess the electricity current is closed there. The connection is closed. Sorry, I can't even think of my terminology here. The connection is closed inside the button, so that way, whenever you press the button, it opens it up, but it doesn't re-switch the memory until the button comes back up and touches the connectors, and then it'll send it through the plug and into the metronome. Okay, so that's kind of what I did was with the open one, so that way, whenever you press the button down, instantly it changes the tempo as opposed to this one I guess the closed option would mainly be once you raise the button up which kind of isn't very practical at all okay um, so here are the last two buttons I'm sending to the Blue Devils their buttons are kind of crapping out a little bit just because who knows how many times they've been pressed but kind of a lot considering it's it's drum core etc 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 so yep there's a little how-to video hope you guys enjoyed 
Um, as of now, I don't really plan on making any more of these buttons just because it's kind of a pain in the butt to, to sit back and make them. It, it takes a long, long time to get everything going, so I have to do a little assembly line and make a bunch of it at the same time so that way I can do, I guess like Henry Ford did with the assembly line and do one step at a time because that's a lot easier. But anyways, I guess cost real quick. Um, plugs, I know these two are different plugs. These, this was my original one, so I just got whatever I could at the moment. Plugs, these quarter inch plugs, I think they cost about a dollar fifty, maybe two dollars some places, depending on how many you get. Um, the wire, I got that at Radio Shack, just a three pack with red, green, and black in it. Honestly, that was about eight bucks, I think, and I, out of about fifty buttons that I made, I still didn't go through those small, tiny, tiny rolls. These buttons, I got these at Allied Electronics. I want to say that they're three to five dollars or so they're pretty decent buttons they're pretty stout and then the enclosure itself I want to say this was about six to eight dollars I think whenever you buy more of them or buy it in bulk it lowers the price a little bit I'm pretty sure it started at about 650 and then when I bought a lot more it was about 575 or maybe 550 a piece okay so there's a little video I hope you guys enjoyed take care